The first and common mistake all newbies make is rendering a project with After Effects in move format. Especially if you have a fairly large project you run the risk of ending up with a very heavy file weight. For example in my case video for 14 seconds is 1.6 gigabytes, which is a lot. The solution is to render MP4 video with Adobe Media Encoder. Install Media Encoder in advance. Click Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. Check the box Render Maximum Render Quality. Select the path and name your file. Select the H.264 MP4 format. Click Render button. Done. Video weighs 16.8 megabytes. Many people don't know how to trim a composition and create a new one. Or use comp settings to manually adjust the size of composition. Use region of interest. Select the region you want. Then click Trim Comp to Work Area. Done. Often beginners forget to use the Align tool and align the layers manually. It's much more convenient to use the Align tool. You can align the layer to the composition as you want. or align layers to each other. Also, newbies often don't use grids rulers, which make it much easier to align layers. For example, with title action safe, you can see the safe zones beyond which the text should not extend. For example, if you post a video on YouTube, the text will overlap the timeline.
don't forget use grids to align your layers into the composition. Also use rulers, you can use them to lock an area and align a layer to it. Suppose you have a video for which you applied some effects. Then you decide to replace that video with another one. Replace your video with the effects you applied to it. Select the video in the project panel, press Alt Win Option Mac and drag it to the video layer on the timeline. The video is replaced with all the effects applied to it. Let's create it a small composition and a shape in it. After that, you created a large composition and put the first smaller composition inside of it. If you enlarge it, we see that the quality of the shape is ruined, because the shape is the same size as before and only the composition is enlarged. To fix this, turn on the Collapse the Layer Switches panel. And check the Collapse Transformations checkbox of your layer. As you can see, the shape became more sharpened because it's Size was optimized to the size of the composition. Use extensions. Easy Edit Viewer will make your work much easier. Install it for Mac OS or Windows. For Adobe After Effects or Premiere Pro, and choose the pack you want among the large collection. After install it in your panel, and start your work. Select the composition you like and import it into the timeline. Then fill it with your content or just edit it in the Essential Graphics panel.
it's easy. Create easy ease keyframes to make your animation smoother. Let's look at a few examples. Use the graph editor to adjust your animations to your need. When you are creating your animation don't forget to set the correct FPS value for your project. Let's look at some examples. Let's set the value to 30 and create a basic shape animation. Now change the FPS to 15. The animation becomes less smooth. The lower the FPS value, the fewer frames become in the composition. The more, the smoother. Often it takes a long time for the computer to render a preview of your project. To fix this, you can change the resolution of the preview of your project. During a pause or during rendering. Change the resolution to full, half, third or quarter. You can also specify skipping a certain number of keyframes. In this case the video will be less smooth, but will be faster to render.
If you duplicate a comp with command plus D and try to replace the content in one of the comps, it will be replaced in the other. To fix it, right click on the layer and click reveal layer source in project. This is the layer you need to duplicate. The easiest and fastest way is to use the true comp duplicator plugin. I will leave a link in the description. Just set the parameters you want, select the number of copies, and click duplicate selected. Done. The comp is duplicated. But now if you replace the content, it will be replaced only in the comp you selected. And the other one will stay the same. Thanks for watching.